I'm going to show you four different ways to add sites. So starting on the top bar, click Add a Site. And oop, it says my site was restored from a previous session. Well, it just stored the location, but um, I don't need to worry about that. I want to add, to start with, a library. So I'm going to click the little pencil and note, oh, if this location error pops up, just click it off. It's no problem. Um, right down here is the library that I want to add. Notice that the crosshairs didn't move. It was actually the map. So the crosshairs stay right in the center. Click Continue. And I'm going to select from my brand new map, the Refresh LES, which I can do even before it's public. Now I'm going to hide the other options. This is the Seward Park Library. And um, it's an NY New York Public Library. And I, of course, I might add a URL, hours, etc. But um, what I especially like about this one is indoor and outdoor spaces, which makes it ideal for cooling. And um, that's really the theme of our map, healthy, cool, and free. This meets it all. So there's our description. I'm going to add a photo. And I've actually uh, gotten a screenshot um, of the library that I took from the Parks Department website. And because I took that picture, I'm actually going to add a little credit for NYC Parks Photo. So I'm going to add a credit if I haven't used original photography. Notice that the picture can be deleted if you realize you've put in the wrong one. It can be turned if it's coming sideways. And you can add a total of five images. And that really adds a lot of richness to telling the story of a place. Use the downscale images for faster upload if you're on a slow internet hookup. Um, now I'm going to add the icons. Now I will choose um, library first, which I know because I've looked at the poster is under eco information and that will become our primary icon. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. It's a Wi-Fi hotspot and actually you can get green maps there. I'm going to add that it's got, um, it's a cool place from our recovery icon set. Oops. What happened to my cool spot? There it is. And you notice that each time you check one, it gets a little check mark, uh, check mark by it. And I'm going to add that's a public space. And maybe I will add one other icon for uh, nature because we're in a park. And that's actually a big draw for this library is that it's in a really great spot. OK, save. And now you can see the icons that I've chosen. Now. I might, if this was on another map, I might choose Cool Spot as my primary icon because that's what I want people to notice about it in this context. But because the whole map is about cool, I'm actually going to be leaving it library. So mainly I showed you, did that to show you how easy it is to move the primary and secondary icons. I'm going to click Submit. And it's giving me a chance to either add another site or go to my home page. Right now, I'm going to go to my home page, and I'm going to skip over to Browse very quickly. And I'm going to zoom down and, um, again, go to Show All 31. And I'm going to show you how to add a site to it from another map. So I am going to add it from the recovery map. And right here, these three dots are your... Um, how do you get to edit anything? And by the way, you can upload a CSV. So that is another way to add sites. If you have a comma separated values spreadsheet that's under 20 megabytes, you can add it right to this map and include all those sites directly. There's instructions on the tutorial. In this case, though, I'm not going to be downloading the CSV or the GeoJSON, so this gives me the access to the data in different formats. I'm not going to edit the map, but I want to view the features. And the features are going to show me all the sites on the map as well as the uh, introduction to it. And in this case, 
I'm going to go right to this Peer 36, this public peer, and I'm going to click Edit. And all I need to do to add it to my uh, map in progress is to choose the map name. So here we can see it's already on the open engagement map and on the recovery map but I am going to add it to Refresh LES. There's a menu of all your maps there. And then you click Save, and that's all you need to do to add it to the map. And of course, you can add more photos that illustrate more about it. This one already has a couple, so I will keep moving on. The only other thing here, just like on the map itself, is where do you make it public? In this case, it's already public because it's on another map. So I'll close that window. And I'm going to go back to my map. So let me go to my ma the maps uh, listing. And we'll come down here now to um, our Refresh LES map. And I'm going to click right to the map. Notice the little yellow uh, symbol next to the name? That means that the map is not public. And I'm going to click here. So I go right to the map page. And I can zoom in, and I know that I want to add uh, uh, another site that's at the corner of 9th and C. And so I'm going to zoom in a little bit to Avenue C. There it is, and 9th Street, which I know is right here because of this park. And I'm just going to control click or right click, and then I have propose a site, and notice it jumped out of the way. Now, it Sometimes this works perfectly, and this comes up in blue, but it didn't. So it's actually fallen to the edge of my extent right up here. Oops, lost it there. Um, let me do it one more time. And it's right up here, so I'm going to click it. And although it won't show me the right spot, it did already select the right name of the map. So um, that's its two advantages. The name of the map and the location is already there. And I'm going to go ahead and move it here. Um, put that cursor, uh, that crosshair is right on the corner of 9th and C and continue. And then I can call, go ahead and type in the plaza. Oop. And a short description. And here I'm just going to say wonderful for now. And I'd come back later and add more about the garden. I already grabbed some of the photos that I collected of this place um, earlier. And I'll add a couple of those photos quickly. And oh, so because of the way that proposal site jumped, it won't show me the photo yet. But it will let me add the icon. So in this case, I'm going to start by adding Community Garden, and, which is under Flora, and Spring Blossom. And I'm going to add, because it's such a great culture space, local music and cultural performance. And for now, that's all I'm going to add. Um, and you can't see them, but when you click Submit, you'll notice those pop right up. So now I'm going to go back to my home page and go back to Browse and go back to that map. Whoops, gone too far. Click Show All again. Now most people don't have a dozen old maps, so that map will probably appear on the first line for you. But in my case, because I've been doing this so long, I have a stack of maps. Um, so now let us use, again, click those three buttons and we'll view the features and we'll review the sites and make sure everything is correct. Now this one is great. It's already been published and it has the icons, looks right. Here is the library where we have yet to um, make it public. So all I'm going to do on this one is open the box on the side, make it public, close it, and go right back and then here's the one that doesn't have the image so I'm going to click edit again and I'm going to scroll down oops to the photos and 
grab one of these pictures and you can see this time it's coming in just fine. I'll grab another. Again, you can have up to five images there. So there's uh, loading in and in just a moment I will make this one public as well. These are high resolution images so that's why it's taking longer. If you downscale the image it will go in more quickly. I'm going to make this one public too and we should be fine right now to go back to the map. Oop, I jumped, did I jump the gun on that? Let's see. View features. So you'll be bop, yep, I jumped the gun. So let me just go back and put that picture in so you can see it properly. And um, sorry about that. Here, I'm going to just put in one of these nice, this nice smoke tree. We'll let one photo go in so we can keep moving on our tutorial. By the way, um, photos that are your own are the best. It's also, I think, fair use to, I believe it's fair use, to take one from the site that people have put up, as long as you credit them. So it's a good thing to do. Um, I'm not going to rush this one because we did that already, and there it is. Um, so now we are ready to go back to our map. And now we can see the map and see all three sites that we created. We may want to adjust that extent, so just the Lower East Side, this corner of New York City comes up first.